one of the most iconic plants of Sydney sandstone bushland at this time of the year is the flannel flower. The leaves and flowers are covered in, in small hairs and that gives that velvety texture to the leaves and to the flowers and gives the name the plant its common name. Its botanic name is Actinotus helianthi and you'll find these plants growing on shallow soils as I said, often on sandstone. They come into flower for the most part in early September, but they can spot flower throughout the year. Now, the flowers might look like a daisy, but they actually belong to the carrot family. The true flowers are right in the center. They're very small and they fall in form an umbel arrangement. Now they're surrounded by these white, sometimes green tipped bracts and the whole thing attracts a range of different pollinators but usually very small insects like our native bees and also many different species of flies. And they're one of about 20 species in this genus. Very rare and also very famous is the pink flowering fennel flower, that's Actinotus forsythii. And that only regenerates after quite intense bushfires, followed by periods of rain. And there was a big flowering event in 2020 in the Blue Mountains, not far from Sydney. Around the Sydney sandstone plant communities, you'll also find a tiny little flannel flower. This is Actinotus minor, and you'll see it in wetter areas, and it scrambles and sprawls up through other foliage. But look closely at the flower, and you'll see it's very similar to this one. These plants have been planted in gardens, and they've also been selected and bred. A compact form called Actinotus starbright has been bred as a perfect plant for pots and also for the borders of gardens. And that's available from our Foundation and Friends Growing Friends Nursery. In cultivation, they do require really good drainage, but they do appreciate regular fertilizing with a low phosphorus fertilizer. But they are a herbaceous perennial that has a relatively short life from three to five years. They'll set seed, the seed spreads via the wind, and particularly in the bush, after fires, when the area is nice and clear, you get a lot of regeneration from seed of this species and also other Actinotus species. So this is the flannel flower, Actinotus helianthi. You'll see it growing in a salander garden around the Warrangwari sculpture and also in the Australian rockery towards the Opera House. 